you guys are all familiar with the SC Cup story. Hustler magazine decided to take an image of her and Photoshop a picture of a penis in her mouth. Um, and this is something that Hustler does on a regular basis. I was completely unaware of that. They've actually done it to men as well. And uh, a lot of people were outraged, including myself, because we felt like it was unnecessary. It's kind of embarrassing to a woman to have images like that out there. Definitely. And once they're created, they're out there forever. Now. I feel like SE Cup is going a little overboard, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that she's playing it right when it comes to the media because she's getting attention and publicity for it. But when you see her in the interview, she seems a little disingenuous, okay? So she's on The View, she's talking about the situation. Here's what she had to say. Yeah, I was horrified. Uh, it was disgusting, and even though it wasn't, mm, I didn't actually do that. By the end of the day, I felt ashamed, yeah. as if I had. Right. And knowing that this photo mm. will be out there forever, mm. my children will see it when I have them one day. It's sad. It is. And fans, they were very explicit. I have to commend them for their honesty. They were very explicit, both in the photo and in saying why they did this to me. They didn't like my politics. They don't like that I'm so conservative. Just, this, you know, the outrage that we've seen well, for some other horrible. examples of this has not yet been matched, and that's okay. I, I'm not a victim here. I just, um, I do want to applaud. Sandra Fluke uh, came out and, yeah, and absolutely... Did. Uh, you know, disavowed this as did Planned Parenthood. Now I see what you're saying, uh, that yeah. she's disingenuous, Anna, because uh, she says, I don't want to say that I'm the victim here, as the whole thing's about her being the victim. Right. right. She's horrified. It's embarrassing. And I understand that it would be embarrassing, right? When the story first came out, I was horrified as well because mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm considered a public figure, but if I had an image of me like that, I would definitely be a little embarrassed by it. And I don't want family members, friends, people who Google you finding that as soon as they search your And head. originally I was on her side as well. Yeah. And I'm still, I feel, I still feel bad for her, right? Yeah. But here again, she's being disingenuous and playing up the, her, Shtick when she says, I know they went after me because I'm a conservative. Yeah, well, first of all, yeah, Hustler goes after people who uh, are morally, you know, righteous indignation, et cetera, in regards to morals, anti sex, as they view it. And by the way, they also go after liberals. They did this to Bill Maher. They did do it to So Bill. it's like, oh, my. she's like, oh, my, I know why they did it. They targeted me because I'm conservative. Yeah, but Larry Flint doesn't like it when you try to oppress sexuality in the country. So, I mean, the fact that it's parody and it's clear parody. Of course, it's allowed. Everybody yeah. knows that. You know, I feel I still feel bad for her, but I'm beginning to feel I'm not as bad. It's funny. I, I I disagree with you guys on both points. Um, I don't feel bad for her. I don't care. I don't see why it's a big deal. I, I get it. I'm not a woman, but I mean, it's obviously fake, and it's what Hustler does. And I think it only makes Hustler look silly and me means that the next time Hustler does some relevant story the way that they really, you know, they affected the, the speakership of the, of the, of the House when, when during, the, during the Clinton trial and Bob Livingston and Newt, all that stuff was really relevant and important journalism. Like, I, I, don't, I don't take them seriously because they put pictures of penises in people's mouths. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the penises in I know, mouth. but I think Larry Look, Flint would say, yeah, we're Hustler. We're not Playboy. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're not. I got it, but there are times when they want to be taken seriously. Then they want the sort of media attention that goes from being taken seriously. So, but, so I, I don't, but I don't, but that said, then when she was talking there on The View and she said, I don't want to play the victim, I thought that was a legitimate, like, hey, look, I'm not, I'm not up here. I'm not saying, oh, woe is me. But, of course, she got invited to the show. The reason she got invited to the show, so she's got to say they went after me because of politics. You're right. Of course, that's what it is. But I, I thought that was legitimate, her, her sort of explanation of it. Let me jump in really quick because my, uh, just like with Obama and gay marriage, uh, my position on this is evolving. And, <laughs> it, and it's evolving because, look, when we originally did this story, I'm, I'm not going to lie, but emotionally, played a huge part in my decision to be against it, right? Because as a woman, this is not a sexism issue. I don't think Hustler did it to be sexist. So let me just put that out there. And it's not a man versus woman issue at all either. But for women, what I'm trying to say is when these types of images are produced and they're put out there, it just sexualizes them even more. And it's really difficult for a woman in the media to be taken seriously. So you. that was my main point. No, it's no, and that's a fair point because Bill Maher is not going to get sexualized in the same way. They're not going to be like, oh, let's not totally take Bill Maher right. seriously because they even if did you an it. obvious parody, right? Yeah. Whereas, especially for S.E. Cup, because she's up and coming and they don't know as much about her mm -hmm. and she's young and attractive, when you do that, it's a way of saying, ha ha, you see, that's all she's good for, right? It, exactly, and that's the issue I have with it. Now, S.E. Cup is lucky in the way that 
it's obviously photoshopped and Hustler did note that it is photoshopped it's not real right mm -hmm. so I don't have anything against that but what's really interesting is you know our conversation moved to something broader where we talked about celebrity faces that are photoshopped onto like pornogra pornographic images and they look very real but the important thing to know with that I did more research into that and um, a lot of times it's I know it's it's a very uncomfortable <laughs> thing to do research you on. Know, funny enough, so did I three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so when I did research into that, of course, those images are also marked as Photoshop. So you know that they're not real, and I don't have a problem with that either. But if a third party takes those images and puts them on their own website and tries to make it seem like those images are real, that's where there's a problem. But thankfully, there are laws to uh, prevent that from happening. You can sue someone for defamation of character if they take those images and they try to uh, pass them off as real right so now let's get to the my favorite part of the story so the entire uh, interview with the view they're trying to dance around the issue of what the image was until Barbara Walters can't take it anymore mm -hmm. watch we were not happy when we uh, heard that Hustler magazine photoshopped her into a fake, very explicit photograph that they published in a recent issue. Scurrilous. It's, scurrilous. it's yeah. scurrilous. It's and nasty. It's yeah. Disgusting. I mean, it's just it's, it's, it's nasty. Bad. It's bad. You know. And it's fake. Yeah. Fake, fake, fake. We need to let y'all know that. Just when you first saw this picture, I mean, and it's it's nasty. Mm -hmm. What it showed was that you had a penis in your mouth. Right. Okay, so that's why in we the are photo. It's yeah, in the photo. Let's <laughs> no, just be clear, all right? I mean, like, because these guys, she's like, they can't apparently say it, but she's like, I'm too old for this. I, right. I'm just going to say, okay, audience, <laughs> penis in mouth. Okay, that's what was happening. God bless Barbara Walters for finally just say it. Yeah. Say it. Did you see the picture? Obviously, you Yeah, I saw the picture, no, but the, the picture. thing is, it's a picture of her doing, like, her political commentary. It's obviously Photoshopped. Like, it doesn't uh -huh. look like she's actually... Um, giving oral pleasure to someone. Okay, right? now the unfortunate thing is everybody's going to have to Google it. Like, I haven't Googled it yet, but now that we've talked about it so much, hey, Barbara, what was happening in the picture? <laughs> what it showed was that you had a penis in your mouth. Right. She oh, okay, says all right. it's so calm, like, yeah. yeah, penis in the mouth. Like, that's not a big deal. That, that's what it showed. <laughs>